Hey everyone, welcome back to Be With The Tea. Now, before I jump into this tea, I want to let you guys know that I'm doing a $100 giveaway. And in order to qualify, you have to be a subscriber. So click the subscribe button below, like videos, and leave your cash app in the comments. That's all it is to it. But let's go ahead and jump right into this tea. Okay, you guys, so the baby and Megan the Stallion had it out yesterday on Twitter. Now, if you recall, the baby is doing a song with Tory Lanez and you guys, you know Tory Lanez allegedly shot Megan and Megan was feeling some type of way. Now, she wasn't really saying anything at first, but it got a little messy because the baby allegedly retweeted this. I guess the baby and Tory Lanez cool now because they both shot somebody and don't have to do no jail time. Now you guys, he says that he did not tweet this. He said, I don't know what type of Illuminati-ish Twitter got going on. I ain't retweet nothing but ball if I want to promo. I ain't retweet that silly-ish. Then once people start tagging me and I saw it, I tried to delete it and undo the retweet. Twitter didn't let me type ish y'all on but by this time you guys megan had already saw that tweet and she had something to tweet herself so she said support me in private and publicly do something different these industry men are very strange this situation ain't no dang beef and i really wish people would stop downplaying it like it's some internet ish for likes and retweets and then she added justice is slow as we've all seen back to my good day now the baby saw her tweet and he retweeted it and said you don't let these folks get the best of you thug i don't got no bad energy for you you know like i know i ain't no industry in let them fool you into thinking that you tripping stand on what you stand on without feeling like i'm against you stay focused my g but Megan wasn't trying to hear none of that that he was talking about. And she said, my stance hasn't changed at all. Yours has. We already spoke about this in private. And you specifically said, that ain't even no good business move. Why would I promote that ish? But now, this ain't your beef. That ain't real. But you stay on your business, my G. And he responded by saying, you ain't tweeting nothing. I ain't tell that in directly. I told him the same ish. Whoever cleared it, cleared it. So what? It still ain't enough of my business for MFs to be feeling some type of way about my pretty chocolate. Hey, getting into that don't feed my people. And then he added, I don't even go back and forth with my own bees on the net. Now I'm on this MF going back and forth with another end woman about some ish another end accused of. How the F that work? Y'all ends hell. Happy Juneteenth though. We started this B off with a bang, didn't it? Love you, Meg. Now at this point, you're thinking like, okay, they said their two cents and it is what it is. But next thing you know, Megan's man party jumped in and had something to say to the baby. And he said, you a clown ass in doing clown A ish. Then try to backpedal. And that's what it is. You don't ever got to address her again. And the baby retweeted his tweet and said, you must not know about me. You must not know about me. You know what? I'm not about to play with the baby, okay? And then Party went on a rant and said, you ends is corny. A lot of you women is corny. Any end that shoots a woman is pee. Any end that sides with it, condones it, affiliates they self with stands beside that type of behavior is a B. Any woman that supports it for any reason is effing sad, bitter, or confused. And then he ended by saying this matter ain't no public opinion or internet beef. So in let a lot of that weak ish slide. Now you guys believe it or not people were actually upset with Megan and coming down on Megan for being upset with the baby. They will call her a hypocrite and everything because of the simple fact that she worked with Cardi after she worked with Nikki and if you do not know Nikki and Cardi do not get along and they even pulled out receipts of an interview with herself and others and she was basically saying that business is business at the end of the day i'm still an artist and i should be free to work with whoever i want to work with um my personal relationship with anybody doesn't affect like what i choose to do as an artist now some people were saying like okay it's different because tori shot megan in the foot but some people were feeling like, well, Cardi put hands on Nikki, so that's pretty much the same thing. But I do feel like, I mean, shooting someone is a bit further if you ask me. I get what people are trying to say, but this is on another level because 
Megan could have actually died if he would have shot her and hit her artery or anything like that. I mean, somebody getting hit in the face. I mean, look, it's a cat fight. So I do understand this being on a different level. I do not feel like the two should be compared. But guess who else threw in their two cents into this situation? Megan's old friend, Kelsey Nicole. She tweeted, disloyalty, a mother effer, huh? Now, if you guys do not recall, Kelsey was with Megan and Tori the night that Megan was allegedly shot in the foot, you guys. Now, rumors have been going around that Megan actually took Tori from Kelsey. And I don't know how true that is, but if that is true, that would explain why Kelsey and Megan do not talk anymore. And it's been even rumors going around basically that Megan is that type of person to kind of take your man allegedly, okay? So this is just rumors. We don't have anything saying this is true because Kelsey never spoke out about that night. She hasn't said anything. She hasn't taken up for Megan. She hasn't taken up for Tori or anything of that nature. But you guys, like I said in my last video, the baby really, honestly, I don't believe he really cares about any of that. I mean, he might care a little bit, but like I said, that's only going to go so far because he cares more about the money. That's his main focus. And his loyalty is going to be to himself ultimately. That's just my opinion about how he thinks. Like he said, he has a family to feed. So whatever's going to bring him a dollar, that's where he's going to go. But I want to know what you guys feel about this whole situation. Do you feel like Megan is wrong? Do you feel like the baby is wrong? Leave your comments below. Do not forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.